Music mogul Simon Cowell likes to live in luxury, and in his case, one home is not enough. He travels across the globe for his Hollywood career, therefore owning multi-million properties in both California and his native England. Simon's main residence is located in Holland Park in London, England, and he keeps it very private, while he also owns a West Coast abode in Malibu. Today we're going to take a look at these properties and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Simon Cowell is an English TV personality, entrepreneur, and record executive who's well known for being a judge on series like The X Factor, American Idol, America's Got Talent, and more. He's also the founder and owner of the British entertainment company Psycho. The famed music mogul has amassed a net worth of about $600 million, which he's invested a large part of into his properties around the world. Aside from his Holland Park main mansion where Simon resides with his fiance Lauren Silverman and their son Eric, he's owned a multitude of homes over the years. Most recently, at the end of 2021, it was reported that Simon was selling a home he bought in Wimbledon for about $23 million, one which he never even ended up living in. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're checking out the homes of Simon Cowell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Simon's main home is something impressive as you might expect. It's a multi-million dollar mansion in the Holland Park area of London. It's an area of Kensington on the western edge of central London and is very sought after and exclusive. Holland Park is also home to the Beckhams, who have a massive 31 million pound mansion just a few streets away. Simon's abode is where he resides with his partner Lauren and their seven-year-old son Eric. And with five bedrooms, there's plenty of room for them all. The exterior of Simon's estate boasts a large classic black front door and plenty of security cameras around. We also know he keeps this place tightly under wraps, especially since it's been the target of burglars in the past. This London home is thought to be worth seven to ten million dollars. The five bedroom, five bathroom house is also said to have four reception rooms. On a tour of the home, the Huffington Post showed the home filled with white roses and scented candles. The living rooms are said to have at least six enormous couches, while Simon's dining room seats ten and houses a Steinway grand piano. At the end of 2021, Simon put his second home in England on the market for 18 million pounds, which translates to about $23 million US, without ever living in the place. After paying 15 million pounds for the seven bedroom property located in Wimbledon, London back in 2019, Simon spent a further 1 million pounds on renovations. He wanted to create the ideal family home. However, before moving in, the couple attempted their trial school runs of the 14 mile round trip from the house to Eric's school. It's said that on at least one occasion, it took more than two hours, so it wasn't ideal. The closure of Hammersmith Bridge in the area made the problem worse, and with no plans for it to be reopened, the couple then decided that they're going to remain in their other mansion in Holland Park. A source said, Simon and Lauren fancied a change. They wanted to get out of central London and go somewhere a little more leafy. They wanted clean air and to make it their long-term family home. They spent a lot of time and money on it, but things just didn't work out, so they have decided to put it on the market and stay put. Simon's former Wimbledon house is close to the official London residence of Pope Francis and 21,000 pound a year King's College School. The renovations that Simon carried out on the property included removing ceilings, floors, and fireplaces, and even stripping down some of the walls to brickwork. Simon further had plans for the historic home, including the addition of expensive upgrades like a 15 meter outdoor pool with its own pool house and bar. Now over on the west coast, Simon currently owns a $24 million mansion in Malibu, which may be the most famous of his properties. It's even made appearances on his TV shows over the years, like the X Factor celebrity auditions that were taped at his home. Simon purchased the contemporary temporary single level estate in 2017, and it's situated on a private bluff at the end of a gated tree lined driveway. There's over 1.5 acres of gorgeous gardens surrounding the home and sweeping ocean views from the entryway down the grand hallway. I mean, 
What else would you expect from Malibu? The mansion is just meters from the coast and inside spans 10,000 square feet of space with seven beds and nine baths. Simon's Malibu house was built in 1988 and of course updated since, offering stone and dark wood floors, Venetian plaster walls and high ceilings with large skylights. In total, the home has six fireplaces, some inside and some outside, so that you can choose to cozy up beside. Rooms in this home include everything from formal dining spaces decked out in marble to a home gym. While all of the bedrooms are luxurious, the one which Simon and his partner Lauren share is decidedly the best. The his and hers master suite boasts a massage room, a spa, a fireplace, and even a private patio. One of the other guest suites in the home has its own entrance, and there are additional staff quarters too. Simon's home is ideal for indoor-outdoor Malibu living, with a ton of space for entertaining. Pocket doors throughout the home open up to the tropical backyard where there's a plunge pool, a hot tub, a barbecue, and multiple terraces. There's also a koi pond directly off of the home which has floor-to-ceiling glass windows and aerial shots show a lighted tennis court on the property which the media mogul seems to use as a car park. Simon actually spent months recovering from a broken back at his Malibu home back in 2020, after an electric bike incident. While the star doesn't usually share pics inside his private home, he did share a photo of himself with his son in the garden with their pet dogs. Reportedly, Simon was planning to spend more time at the property in order to enjoy a quieter life away from Hollywood with his family. Alright guys, now that we've checked out some of Simon Cowell's properties, it's time to bring this house tour to a close. We didn't get to see much of his London homes as he keeps them quite private, and for good reason, but you can get an idea of his lifestyle. His luxury Malibu mansion does the talking for him. What did you guys think of the TV personalities' homes? What were your favorite features? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!